Hello everyone, uh, this is the IFC Architect and today we're going to do a short tutorial video on uh, profiles um, and uh, I'm going to have these kind of smaller tutorials interspersed between bigger ones um, but this one is just going to go a little bit into how to create your own profiles and where to do that and how to control those. Anyway, uh, let's get into it. To install Blender BIM or Blender, check the installation videos in the description. Please update your Blender BIM to the latest build I am using found on my channel about page. My layout very simply has the properties on the right hand side and the outliner on the left hand side. Please make sure that you've got your snaps enabled which just allow you to easily uh, model things and move them around and make sure that your move gizmo, this little object here, is uh, selected. Control Z, Control Z. You can follow what I'm doing with screencast keys in the bottom left. Okay cool, let's get started. So you're going to start by opening up Blender BIM and we're just going to create an IFC4 project. These are the details I'm using and make sure to load your demo library. So we're just going to say create project and then I'm just going to press in on my keyboard and click on the BIM tool over here. You can see it's loaded the file structure and all of that. So I'm just going to use uh, columns but uh, profiles are applicable for columns and beams and I'm just going to add um, the existing ones, right? So there is uh, the first column, C1, and then here is C2, and we'll press 7, go into uh, plan view. I'm just going to say shift A, and then the third one, C3, shift A. These are the default column profiles that come with Blender BIM. So it's a circular hollow section, a rectangular hollow section, and a recta rectangular solid column. I'm just going to grab these guys and say GX and just bring them across. If you want to create your own custom um, profile, what you need to do is you go into scene properties. You're going to come down here to IFC geometry and then there's a little tab here called IFC profiles. So you can see there are five profiles in the existing project. I'm going to click on that and I'm just going to expand this, press in there and you can see these are the profiles that are loaded. So you can see there's a preview and then there's the um, each profile. So there's a rectangular profile, circular hollow section, rectangular hollow section. This is an I beam, which you can find in the in the beams, and the C channel, which is you can find in the beams as well. I might as well add those. So I'm just going to press in, go to the uh, beams, choose beam one, which is the I beam. So I'm just going to say Shift A, GZ, GZ, and then I'm going to choose beam two, Shift A, GZ. Oopsie, GZ, bring this guy down, and GY, snap him there. So then you can see these two are an I-beam and a C-channel. And these are the five profiles that are currently in with the demo file, basically. But if you see here where it says IFC arbitrary close profile, you can choose a selection of randomized um, profiles here. So arbitrary closed profile is a profile of anything you want. Um, Asymmetrical shape profile is one that has two different sides. Uh, C shape is like the C channel. Uh, circular hollow is like this example that we've got here. Um, ellipse is what it says. It's an I shape, an L shape, rectangular hollow, rectangular uh, solid, rounded, um, T shape, trapezium, U shape, and a Z shape. So if you have like a standard steel size or beam size or column size, then these will probably help. But if you just want an arbitrary one, you can just click on IFC arbitrary and you just click on the add profile button there and you can click uh, enable editing that profile. And then here we can see we've got the preview and we're just going to say we want this profile to be a demo dash ob for arbitrary. This is just my name. You can make it whatever you like. And then I'm just going to say edit profile. And then you can see it adds a little profile editor there that you can change. So I'm going to press seven so we can see it from above. And you can see it takes the origin from the origin point there. So we can take this, I'm going to press one and I'm going to select the corner. I'm going to say G and just pull that out. And then I'm just going to say save profile. And then you can see the profile has been saved. So if I want to create, use this profile, I can create a new column. So I can go to column type and then I can click on the waffle grid there and I can create a column that uses an extruded profile and I want this to be maybe C0, I don't know. And we're just going to say plus 
and then you can see it's added C0, which just has a generic um, thing uh, profile right now. So I'm just going to add it over here. And I'm going to select C0, say Shift A. You can see it starts with a 500 by 600 profile. So if you want to apply our arbitrary profile, we need to come here to object properties. I'm just going to collapse everything that we don't need. And we're going to go to IFC object metadata. And we're going to go to our IC object material. And then we're just going to click on this little enable editing assign material button. And then in this, you can see we have this 500 by 600 um, material already. So what we want to do is add the new profile that we created, which I swear we, let me just have a look. Let's go back here. Oh yes. Uh, if we want this to save, we just need to click edit profile, close to edit that profile. And then we select the column, we select object properties, we come here and you can see it says demo ARB arbitrary and we can add that one. And then we can just get rid of the old one. And then for it to show, we just need to um, adjust the length. So I'm just gonna snap it, snap the cursor to the top there so it's the same length and say shift E. And you can see it adjusted to our new profile. And then I'm just gonna save the material there. And obviously you can make this whatever you want. Um, yeah, so that's if you want to do an arbitrary profile. So if we go back to our profiles, we can edit this again. So I can click that button, edit the profile, press seven so I can see it from above. I'm gonna grab that one. I'm gonna say G there, I'm gonna say shift Q. The profile has changed and you can see the profile has changed there. It's very powerful, it's very flexible. If we want this, if we wanna create a profile from a standard kind of size, uh, one of the other ones here, I think we can do an L shape profile. I'm gonna press seven or a T shape maybe. I'm going to add another column. So I'm just gonna go here. We're going to add a column called column 20. And then I'm gonna press plus. I'm going to select that and say shift A. And then we're going to add that profile. So I'm just gonna close this one. And then I'm going to add a T shape profile. I'm gonna say plus. And then we select the T shape profile. We edit it and we need to give it some values. So the depth is like, if it was a beam, that's the depth. So I'm gonna say 300. The width is the other dimension. Uh, the web thickness, I'm just gonna say three and the flange thickness, I'm gonna say three and I'm not gonna adjust the slopes and the, the radius and all that. Um, and then we're just gonna call this demo T. And we're just gonna say, uh, close that. And then we need to select the column. We're gonna go to our object properties we're going to come here to IFC object metadata, IFC object material. We're going to edit this again. We're going to select demo T. We're going to add it and we're going to get rid of the old profile. And then again, same thing. We're just going to adjust the length by saying shift E. And there you can see we have a T profile with a three millimeter width. So if we want to adjust, adjust that profile, we can go back here. We can edit it. We can say, oh, we want this to be six and we want this to be 12. So then we can just say uh, click and then you can see the flange is 12 and then the web is six. So yeah, um, it's fairly straightforward. Let me just show, I'm, I've created a file with all of these available. So let me just go open that. So I'm just gonna go here and uh, I've created, I've just gone file new general and just reloaded this. And then I'm just gonna go here to IFC project and I'm gonna say load project. And I'm gonna to navigate to where I have this, this uh, file. So it's called profiles. I'm gonna load it. And then these are all the profiles um, tested out. I'm just gonna roll up there and we're gonna click on the first guy and we're gonna open up uh, our material. So I'm gonna collapse all of this. And we're gonna go into IFC object material. And then you can hear, you can see here that this has the default 500 by 600 rectangular profile. So we're going to go in just so you can see them. I'm going to hide the top beam. And then this one has the 500 by 0.5, uh, by five millimeter thickness, um, circular hollow section. This one is a 150 by 75 by two millimeters, um, rectangular hollow section. This guy is a, I don't have the depth, but it's a, it's a C channel. And then you can see this is an arbitrary one. So if I press seven, you might notice it's the silhouette of a person. Um, but anyway, you can basically make it any shape you want. It's incredibly flexible. So this is the arbitrary one. If we want to edit it, we can go back to scene properties and we can go to geometry. 
profiles. Open this. Scroll down. These are all the ones in here. Going to arbitrary. You can see it's a little profile. We can say edit. We can say edit profile. I'm going to press 7. And just like the other one, we can edit it. It's very straightforward. Whatever you want to do. Shift Q. It saves it. And it changes it. Yeah. But it's a column like anything else. And it's parametric. So if we use BIM tool. And we say Shift E. Ooh. Oh, we have to just save this. Click here. Use the BIM tool. Shift E. Shift E. It's a column like any other. And then the next one is a solid circular column. This one is an ellipse. I'm just going to go back to, yeah, demo E, an ellipse. This is an L-shaped uh, column. This is a rectangular column with rounded corners. Here's a T-shape, one that we created in the previous one. This is a trapezoid. This is a U-shape, which is essentially the same thing as a, as a C. And this is a Z-shaped profile. So those are different kinds you can uh, create. If you really look at, so I'm just going to open this beam again, turn this on. Uh, there are ways to edit these, which are quite useful. So I'm just going to go to the tool again. So the one thing, obviously, is you can extend it, Shift E, and uh, close it. And then the other thing is you can edit the axis. So each beam has an axis. So we can do an arbitrary location and then just say Shift Q, and it follows that line. So it's quite useful. Columns also have an, an axis to edit. So if we take take Elvis over here and we say edit axis, you can see there, you can make a slanted column, GX, and then say Shift Q. And yeah, but yes, uh, try it out. You can download this, this file with the columns in the description and enjoy. The next video will probably be a bigger one, but for this one, I thought we can just go through profiles. I'm gonna do similar videos on snapping because I feel like a lot of people have issues with snapping and a few other small tools to help people understand. Uh, if you found that interesting or useful, you can check out more at the OSARC community page. This was made using Blender, the Blender BIM add-on, which is powered by the IFC OpenShell, and the community that we're involved in is the OSARC community. I will provide links in the description, and you can check other videos to follow along. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.